As a young boy growing up, I always wanted to be just like my dad. He was a real-life superhero, and his incredible voice could penetrate walls and enchant the ladies. Sometimes, I got to be up there on stage with him. Those moments were really special, because for most of my childhood, he was off singing somewhere far away, and I always missed him a lot. My dad grew up in a tiny Cornish fishing village called Porthleven. His forefathers were fishermen, and his family led a simple, hard-working life. He played the horn in the town band and loved singing in the church choir. After school, he would swim in the harbour, singing his favourite church songs. When one day, by sheer chance, a professional musician named Marjorie Fogg passed by. She was amazed by his voice and persuaded him to audition at the London College of Music, where William Lloyd Webber became his mentor. He got his first big break when Lord Harwood, cousin to the Queen, asked him to cover for a tenor who was sick. He stepped in as Don Jose and Carmen and saved the show for English National Opera. This was the beginning of a 40-year career, singing more than 100 leading roles in thousands of productions at the great opera houses of the world. <laughs> 